Wake up, Ted. Wake up. Bear, wake up. What in the... Why are you yelling? You passed out. No. <clears throat> I was just... Just resting my eyes for a minute. Shut up and listen. I was in the auditorium just now and saw some commotion up here. Up here? It seems someone snuck up on you and hit you over the head with that bottle. Sure. Why not? That's what happened. I think whoever knocked you out locked the door behind me. Wait, we're locked in? Most definitely. Hmm. Any other exits? There's a projection window, but the projector is too close. You can't squeeze through. Okay. Let's see if you can move that thing somehow. It's a wrench. I'll take it. I'll take it with me. I'll take this one. Maybe we can use it on that window over there. Huh. It's as thick as they come. Must be something important. I'll take it with me. We can tie these into a rope. There. We should be able to move it now. There. We can get a bit closer to the window now. What are you even doing here? It was your sister's idea. It's... this whole thing. Hey, where is she? How come you're here? She had to take care of something. She asked me to step in for a bit. She did? That's what I just said. Hmm. Anyways... I'm not explaining all of this to you. Why not? You'll be gone as soon as Amber gets back, so what's the point? We both know this detective game isn't your cup of tea, superhero boy. She... She what? Where is she? I told you. She had something to do. You know, in real life. Hmm. She hasn't told me anything. Well, she was in a hurry. All this sounds really strange, kid. You know that. Look, you can talk to her when she gets back. Get off my case. Fine. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here first, and then I'll brief you in. The window is stuck. I need to find a way to yank it open. I'll just leave it here on the floor. Now if I could tie this to the window, maybe we could use a projector to pull it open. Okay, this could work. Bear? The film looks strong enough. Go for it. I can't use it now, but the projector will slide back again. Let's lock it in place. Great job, kid. Vandalism at its best. There! Now I can use it as a rope. There we go. Holy shit, kid. You actually pulled it off. There. Nothing to it. You didn't pull a muscle, did you? Pull a muscle? I'm made of stuffing. Anyways, let's get going. Go where? What were you even doing here? Okay, quick briefing. Robots are disappearing all over the city, and their union hired me and your sister to find out who's behind it. And? And what? Who's behind it? What do you? We're in the middle of the goddamn investigation. Sounds like sloppy work to me. Yeah, like you'd know what work sounds like. Fair enough. There was this guy who went missing, Robbie, left a coat behind with a movie ticket. So? The date on the ticket, it was the same night he went missing. Okay, I get it. Anyways, I didn't find anything. But somebody else was apparently bothered by us snooping around here. That's good. How's that good? Relatively. 
It means we're on the right track. Let's go back to the entrance. Rossum, the old robot who works here. He must have seen someone enter after us. To the entrance, Dad. Keep it down. God damn it. What is this? Loud idiot day? So, where's this robot of yours? Hmm. I guess he left. He left, all right. Left everything wide open and all the lights on. Is trust not valued anymore by your generation? I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm not. Where the hell is this Ross guy, Ted? Rossum. And I don't know, kid. He was here before. He let me in. There are bolts all over the floor. And it kind of looks like... God damn it. You think? He's gone, kid. Whoever locked us in there, they've got him now. So? Now what? Look around for a bit. See if you can find anything. Sure. It says, get your ass down to Jungle Jazz Bar this weekend and try our famous Southside Fizz. One free drink with this coupon. Take it with you. Um, I feel like it's an important clue. Hmm. The coupon part was torn off, Ted. Throw it away, then. Who cares? I'll take it with me. Maybe we could use it somehow. I'll pick them up. Just trash. I don't feel like going through it. You... There's no one here. And I could see some signs of struggle. I'll take it with me. I could use it as a club, maybe. Planet cheese? What the? What's the deal? Who knows? These new ones. They're all the same. This one feels especially cheesy. Let's head back to the Union and report to Lifty. Never took you for the by-the-book guy. Me neither. But what else are we going to do? Stand here like a couple of boobs? I mean... It all started a couple of days ago. I just got released from the hospital after two weeks of intensive care. I got messed up bad. And by her, of all people. Betty was always on the emotional side. And when her blood gets to boiling, all hell breaks loose. It's what I really liked about her. The bullet grazed my left ear, the doctor said. And if it weren't for the fall, I would have gotten away unscathed, but then I wouldn't have learned anything. She tried to do me in, that much is clear, I can't really hold it against her. Not after what I did. And I'd rather have her do it than some lowlife down at the docks. No point in crying about it really. No point in doing anything at all anymore, I thought. Amber pulled me out of it for a while. Made me take on this case. I guess it's better than doing nothing. I have to keep my mind busy. When I'm left alone, I tend to languish. Anyways, this case, it's all sorts of wrong. Someone is hell-bent on taking all the tin heads out of commission. Parts are being left behind in dark alleys. Mouths are being kept shut, and blind eyes are being turned. Lifty Workovsky, head of the robot union. Odd broad, she was the one who called us. I guess having all them robots missing is starting to reel in some real bad rap. After this last guy, Robbie disappeared. We went snooping around his place for a bit. There was nothing out of the ordinary, but... We found this ticket stub in one of his jackets. Not much of a lead, but it was the only one we had. Amber was supposed to meet me at the cinema, but she was a no-show. Flint's a good kid. I have nothing against him, but we never spent all that much time together. Seeing as all the women in my life decided to collectively quit, I guess this is as good a time as any. 
I just hope the kid won't slow me down too much.